let's make sure that we have our best coming school audience, okay? All right, that's important to take it away. Hi, friends. I was saying to my youngest today, I woke up today and I was like, ooh, I have butterflies in my belly. I was so excited because I knew that today I was going to be meeting my idol. And I know you guys know what idol is, right? Yeah. So if you don't know what it means, it means somebody that you look up to, right? So maybe, you know, good for you, it could be like Tom Brady, it could be Taylor Swift, somebody. And if you go to the concert, you get so excited because you want to see her. So that was me today. In the morning I was getting ready and I was like, oh, I'm going to wear my Vince Van Gogh shoes and my shirt. So I'm so excited to meet Peter Reynolds because he's an amazing, amazing author, an amazing writer. And we're not only blessed to see him, but his brother, Paul, as well. So without further ado, welcome to the All right. Thank you for that effervescent, <laughs> ugly, electrifying introduction. Those are some awesome words. I love words. I am a word collector. I don't know if you know that about me. Do you know that? Oh look, we've got my, my friend there is holding up the word collector. That's right. Oh, and another word collector. We have word collector sightings here. Um, that is one of my books. I actually recently had to make a checklist to keep track of all of my books. Because people, yeah, people would ask me, and they say, how many books have you written? I'm like, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 25, 27, 30, 42, 57, 60, 70, 81, 82, 83. So, I have to create a checklist. Um, which is on our website, you can print it out. Or you can come to our bookstore, and we have our books, own bookstore. I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. But, so I keep track of all the books that I have created, and I, I love making, love making books. I love drawing, and I love writing, and I like collaborating. That's another good word, collaboration, right? Collaboration, so that's how I've done so many books. If you wanna do a lot of books, collaborate, right? Get some help. So you could illustrate for someone else, or you could um, write, or you write the words. Someone could illustrate for you. Paul wrote a story called Going Places. And where is that, Paul? The book. So he wrote Going Places, and he said, people, you do the drawings. So I did the drawings. And not only did we make the book Going Places, but we made an animated film based on the book. So you, you can collaborate with people to make books, you can make animated films, you can also make video games, which is something that Paul and I do. We own a company that makes video games. It's called Fable Vision. And we, um, we also make animated films, all sorts of cool stuff, we, uh, VR and all sorts of cool cool technology things, but we love, we love books, we like crazy about books. Um, by the way, we want to get to know our audience and adults. You can answer any of my questions today or meet any of the challenges I throw in your, at you. Um, but the very first thing is we really want to get to know each and every one of you. Some of, uh, some of you I already know, like my friend Ava. She's, uh, uh, we have all the people with letter A's sitting here, letter B's here, only kidding. But Ava, but we want to know everybody's name. So on the count of three, please tell us your name. Adults, you can join in too. We want to get to know all of you. And you can say it once. We're going to go We'll do three, two, one. So we can say it all together. We'll, yeah, we'll say it all together. So we'll do a countdown, okay? All right? So you don't have to shout it. You don't want to say it 12 times. Just once. Your name. First name. Three, two, one. <laughs> Those are, those are really good names. Yeah. Hey, Paul, can Anderson, you write those down? Anderson, she put it here. I heard and, you write uh, And we just show it one more time. Except this time, whisper it. You whisper it, okay? So on the count of three, whisper your name. One, two, three. That was so cool. That was awesome. That was awesome. And, and I heard everybody, even in the background. So, by the way, um, if you have, I know some of you probably, like, do you, do you think you have a name that would work well as a character name in one of our books? Yeah. Who, 
Who do we have permission? Raise your hand if we have permission to use your name in the Arabic. Paul, can you, Andrea, can you write all those down? Excellent. Writing a book, I do about, for me, I can do about six books a year. Some I collaborate, I'll do the drawing, some I write and illustrate too. So I can only do about six. So if you want your name in one of my books, you have to be very patient. Or if you want to see your name in print, I have another way for you to do that. Write your own story, right? With your name in it. Or you could choose your best friend, right? Your neighbor, right? You could write, I could write a story about Ava. Ava climbed the highest mountain in the land. When she got to the top, Ava pulled out her magic telescope. Ava peered into it. And there, on the horizon, she saw the most magnificent sight. What did Ava see? Stay tuned. I haven't written that story yet. <laughs> I'm just making it up because I have an imagination, which is a beautiful thing to have. Please take care of your imagination. It might get a little rusty as you get older. You would think that it would get better, right? But if you don't keep using your imagination, it kind of gets rusty. Kind of like the Tin Man, right, in Wizard of Oz. So that's why it's really good to kind of keep keep exercising both sides of your brain, all parts of your brain. And that's why drawing is actually a really good thing to do. Around fifth grade, we kind of notice people kind of slow down a little bit. So it was really good. It's good to see that everyone has paper and pens. Um, who wants, do you want to get warmed up with a little drawing? Yeah. Okay. So Paul and Andrea are removing the drawing of Judy Moody. I illustrate the Judy Moody series with Megan, Megan McDonald writes on. She lives in San Francisco. I've only seen her in 20 years. I've only seen her five times. So, um, but we collaborate. We still, we collaborate. She sends me her drawing. Yes. So in my studio right now, I'm working on the very last Judy Moody book in the series. And it's called Sunny Side Up. Nobody knows that. So you guys know. Sunny Side Up. So we are going to, I'm going to make a, Paul, oh, what should, what, what should we make? Suggestions? Yeah. What, what's your suggestion? My suggestion is we should draw like, like someone with pink hair or like what protect everything, like a creative one, like very creative. Oh, I like where you're going with that. So like draw a like a creative. Like, let's say it was a TV show about the most creative kid on the planet. What would they look like? I feel like we should draw Vashti. Oh, Vashti, that's a good one too. Vashti, if you want. We can do multiple. Yeah, so, um, that's true. Let's see, tell you what, I'm going to make a drawing, you can, you can either copy it, or you can kind of rip on it, right? Rip on it means do kind of your own twist to it. So, but I generally will start with this shape. I kind of start with a, an oval or an O. So if you know your alphabet, does everyone have the alphabet under? Yeah, control, A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah. I'm working on it. So there's the letter O, and I'm going to draw the letter, do you know what comes in handy? The letter U comes in handy, it's a very useful, I'm going to put a letter U, a letter U, another one in between, but that one looks like someone sat on the U, right? So it's like more like a smiley face. And, and then I'm going to put another one right below. And, and look, we have already instantly have a face, right? It's not too hard. And remember, you, you can do your version. It just it can be Ava ish, right? It doesn't have to be Peter ish. It could be Ava ish. It it could be face ish. Do you know my wrote a book called Ish? Do you know that book? Yeah. yeah. Just check. Just check. Um, so now I'm going to add some hair. Now you can draw whatever kind of wild hair you want to do. 
but I'm going to just do some, I'm going to just do, actually people say to me, how do you draw? Tell me your secret. How do you draw? I say, I will tell you the secret. Grab a marker, get some paper, put your marker on the paper, start moving your hand around, and you're drawing. Right? So you are, you're making art. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a squiggle. It does kind of look more characteristic, looks a bit like Jerome. So I just made a squiggle, right? Adults, can you make a squiggle? You can make a squiggle, right? You can handle that. Not too hard. And, um, by the way, did we do a survey? Of art? How many artists? I don't think we did, did we? Alright, I just, you know, another way to get to know you all. How many artists do we have in the room? Let's just scan, we're scanning. Artists, 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 we're scanning, we're scanning, we're scanning, we're scanning, we're scanning almost complete. That was actually very, that's very good, that was 98.3%. There were a few adults without their hands up, so. <laughs> and you know who you are. <laughs> and you'll be talking to me after class. And I'm going to read you a book called The Dot. <laughs> All right, to encourage you. All right, so now I've got some squiggles. I'm going to add some, I'm going to add, this is kind of looks like the letter C on that side. And if you flip it around, you get a backward C, or you could think of it as a letter D, if that helps. C and D. You've got ears. So if you can write the letter C, you can draw an ear. So adults, nervous adults, if you're nervous, draw a C and call it the ear. And you can sign it, show all your friends. I drew an ear. Look at that. You're rocking this. So the letter H, by the way, comes in very handy. H for handy. My middle name is starts with an H. And look, oh, someone said Hamilton. Did you say it? Oh, you guys are. You have studied well. <laughs> Hamilton. My middle name is based on a hit Broadway musical. <laughs> and also the the place where our grandfather was born in New Zealand, Hamilton, New Zealand. Oh, you guys are real good. So. So now you've, you've got, we've got the squiggle, we've got, this looks like a, a neck and a turtleneck. So you know how turtlenecks have those like little, those little marks there? And then you can put, you can add a body. Um, you can add detail, right? That's the cool thing about writing. You can add detail. That's what makes it interesting. It wasn't just a dog going into a store, right? It was in the, the miniature invisible dog that snuck underneath the door of the laundromat. What was the dog doing in the laundromat? I don't know. <laughs> well, this is awesome. I mean, Paul, these are great ever. So there's like a little squiggle here. Now I'm going to make a little to me, That kind of, to me, looks like a nest. Doesn't it look like a nest? What, what usually sits on a nest? All right, I'm going to put a bird. Remember, it only has to be bird-ish. <laughs> oh, the eyebrows? You want eyebrows? So now we have a bird on a guy's head, um, or a girl's head, or a person's head, and uh, it's kind of the beginning of the story. I do not know why there was a bird on a person's head. I do not know the person's name. I do not know the name of the bird. I do not know if the bird has a friend, and I do not know if this bird is laying an egg in the nest dish. But maybe you got, who here could finish that story? Do you think you could finish the story? Finish the story and let me know, okay? And maybe Paul and I and Andrew can come back. By the way, where's Andrea? Is she here? Andrea's way in the Oh, there she is. Hi, Andrea. Andrea works with us. Andrea loves words too. She was a reporter for a newspaper. And that's how she got to know myself and Paul. And we said, Andrea, you're so cool. And you love words. Do you want to come work with us at Fable Vision? So Fable Vision is our studio in Boston. We have, we're on Newbury Street. We have 35 artists and writers and video game designers and video game testers and record and musicians. And we're looking for um, we're looking to hire. So if anybody wants a job as a writer or an animator, video game tester, 
you. Raise your hand if you'd like to come work for us. All right. Excellent. All in your key, write all those things down there. Does he work in the corner? You need a summer job? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Who here drew a picture? Raise your picture up in the air. Let's see. Whoa, look at this. It's the Comedy Gallery, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Look at this. Look at this. It's the Comedy Gallery. Well, let's see. Take a picture of me and my friends. Yeah. Take a picture of me and my friends. Take a picture of me and my friends. By the way, okay, artwork down. I love my book. Excellent. You guys, do you want to keep drawing right when you get after this is over? You can add color, you can add a background, you can name your character. Look at your character. The character has a personality. Pick a name that fits, kind of matches the personality. Like Judy Moody is a good name for Judy because she's kind of moody, right? Paul brought up this picture. This is a very, very magical place. About 30-ish minutes, we decided. I'll go ahead from your school. This is a, our very own bookstore. It's called The Blue Bunny. Can you say The Blue Bunny? The Blue Bunny. Yeah, now say it with very deep voice. The Blue Bunny. The Blue Bunny. That sounds really good. We should record that a lot <laughs> So the Blue Bunny is located in Dedham Square in Dedham, Massachusetts. It's not too far from here. If you want your parents or someone who loves you who knows how to drive to take you there, tell them that we also make really good coffee. All right? Good cappuccino. And also, if you guys show up, you will receive, if you can remember the secret password, you will receive a little surprise gift, courtesy of Paul Reynolds, Peter Reynolds, and Andrew Calvin. That's right, man. The secret password is Rainbow Potato. Rainbow Potato. Can you, can you repeat that back to me? Rainbow Potato. One more time. Rainbow Potato. And one more time with feeling. Rainbow potato. Beautiful. If, if you want to remember something, there are two very good ways to remember things. Write it down. Or draw a picture. And that, my friends, is why drawing comes in handy, right? Because a drawing, have you ever heard the expression that drawing is worth a thousand words? Yeah. So drawing is worth a thousand words. If you are kind of in a rush, and you're like, I want to remember rain rainbow potato. Who here can draw a potato quickly? All right, quickly, draw me a potato. How do you do it? Oh my gosh. And raise your, raise your potato in the air when you're done. I have a potato. Potato here. Potato here. Potato here. Potato here. Potato here. Potato here. Oh my gosh. Ava has done a beautiful potato. Okay, round of applause for all of your potatoes. Everyone. That's fantastic. So, so come to our bookshop. This is this is what it looks like. It's filled with books. We love books. We love books so much. We also have blank books, and it is actually our favorite. Do we have our blank book here, Paul? Paul is going to show you our blank book. We love this book. It is our favorite book in our entire store. We love the cover. And check out, show them the, um, the, 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 you know that double page spread in the middle? It's so awesome. It's so incredible. And then, do it. <laughs> Okay, we're sorry, Greg. We're going to show you the last page. We're not supposed to do that. We were like, oh my goodness. She was so amazed. Um, so when kids come in, and grown-ups too, 
Everyone's invited. When they come in, we, we tell them that it's their favorite book. A lot of, a lot of you guys got the guy from right in school. But some kids are like, they're like, what? There's nothing in it. How could that be your favorite book? And, Me. oh yeah, why do you think? Red Sox, yeah. Oh yeah, you can use your imagination, that's really good. How about you, what, what else can you do with that book? Your own pictures, you were gonna say that? Yeah, what, what? Right hand to illustrate. Ava, what, what's your thought? You can make something creative. That's right, it's right, it could be anything. It's, it's a, it's all about the possibility. So if you want to see whether or not someone's creative, show them a blank sheet of paper. If they get all kind of like sweaty and like nervous, <laughs> they need some work, all right? If they get excited and say, where's the pen? I want to get going, you kind of know that they're creative. So we want to, we, want, we wish for you, all of you, to keep that creative spirit shining very brightly. Do not let that go. Because something scary happens when you get to be around 6th or 7th grade, you slow down. 8th grade, you start to forget. By high school, graduation, a lot of people have, haven't picked up a pen to draw for a long time. And of course, if you do not practice stuff, you get rusty and you forget. So I made a promise to myself many years ago that I would make one drawing every single day. One drawing. And some days 10, and some days 100. And I turned out pretty well, so, wow, look at that, you are on it. And she's in a wheelchair, that's so awesome. That is great. Wow, such great artwork. Paul, oh, these are really amazing. Speaking of artwork and storytelling, I brought a book with me. Um, I, as I told you, I like to collaborate. I collaborate with my twin brother, with Megan McDonald, with uh, Susan Verity on the I Am series, right? I Am Human, I Am Yoga. Um, and maybe I'll collaborate with you. Who would like to collaborate with me? All right, we'll talk about that later. Um, well, yeah, two collaborations. This September, this book comes out. This, no one has seen this book yet. This is not um, published yet. This is called All We Need Is Love and a Really Soft Pillow. And it's co-written by my 12-year-old son, Henry Rocket Reynolds. Yeah, Henry Rocket Reynolds. And so he and I came up with this idea while we were walking on the beach. And we were just talking about how, you know, how we have a lot of stuff in this world, right? And we get kind of busy and we want stuff. We want these new sneakers, we want this, and cars. And, and I said, we were on the beach, and I said, we were walking barefoot on the beach. And I said, Henry, this is the simple life. I love this. I, You've got me, I've got you, we've got love. What else do we need? A rhetorical question. But Henry said, well, a really soft pillow would be nice. <laughs> and I said, true, I love pillows. So you, me, love, soft pillow, that's all we need, simple, sweet life. He said, well, chocolate is kind of essential. And I said, is it really? And he said, some may say that it is essential. I said, okay, we can put that on the list. Well, the list grew and grew and grew. We went back to the cottage and I said, Henry, that was a story we just wrote. And I said, uh, can you remember? So he took a pencil, a piece of paper, and he remembered the entire conversation. I'm glad he did. Because we wrote it down, and now it's a book. So Henry will be on tour with me this fall. And um, would you like us to come visit your school? Yeah. All right, Paul, put that in the possibilities column. Yeah. Uh, in their bookstore, I'm usually there in the morning having coffee with my twin brother, Paul. Um, that's my twin brother, but he's my big brother by 14 minutes. I know. I'm the one that looks old. I grew I have a 12 year old son, remember that. I went great very quickly. Um, so, I, um, so I start my day having a cup of coffee at the bookshop, and we. Um, usually there on Saturday mornings, and this guy named Mark Cola Giovanni came into our bookstore, and he had a folder, and he said, Peter, I've written some stories for my, my three girls. Can I read them to you? Or could you read them? So I read them, and I said, Mark, these are really good. These deserve to be books. And one of the poems was called, When Things Aren't Going Right, Go Left. And it is now a book. So would you like me to read it to you? Yeah. All right. 
Oh, and by the way, did you get who signed their work? Did you sign? How many people actually signed it? I forgot to sign mine. So, just if you have not signed, please sign. Don't sign Peter H. Reynolds. <laughs> oh, lovely. Nice signature. Person. We love person. All right. And here it is. Go left. Written by Mark Cola Giovanni and drawings by who drew the drawing? That's right. <laughs> One day, for no particular reason, nothing was going right. Absolutely, positively, nothing was going right. You see how it's raining? Can you guys uh, just take your hands and on your legs, just go like it? All right, that's raining. Now they get really, really bad. All right, now slow it down. Now just like a little ear pattern. You hear the rain? That's really good. Good sound effects. All right, ball. Oh. So I decided to go left. The first thing I did, I left behind my worries. So I had to kind of use my imagination and I made a box of worries. But of course, what does a box of worries look like? A box of worries looks like, like that, those little red critters. Yep, I left them right there on the ground. They looked up at me and wondered, where are you going? I just smiled and waved goodbye. Wait, they hollered. Come back, what will happen to us? I simply shrugged my shoulders. You'll be fine. As I walked away, I thought, did I make the right choice? Should I go back and get them? Doubts crept in. So you know what I did? I left behind my doubts. Yep, I left them right there on the ground. They bellowed, you're making a mistake. But I just, I just gazed up at the sky. They question, are you sure you're making the right decision? Absolutely, I declared. With my worries and my doubts left behind, I could finally think clearly. I forged on until I came to a pool, and the diving board I remembered all too well. The last time I tried to dive off that diving board, I splatted on my back. Oof. I remembered the pain and how scared I was. I started thinking, Maybe I shouldn't try this again. So you know what I did? I left behind my fears. Yep. I left them right there on the ground. They screamed, Don't do it! Not very encouraging, is it? I stood up straight, shoulders back, hands pressed above my head. Stop, they cried. But I simply turned and I gave them a wink. I left. Can you have to do the slap with me? One, two, three. Ah! Nice. On my back again. Yeah, once again. Oof, that stings. I thought to myself, this is impossible. It, it can't be done. So you know what I did? I left behind my frustrations. Yep, I left them right there on the ground. They yelled, you can't do it. Again, I stood up straight, shoulders back, hands pressed above my head. They laughed. Give up already. I whispered to myself, give up. New wings. Never. I left. Feet together. Toes pointed. Legs straight. Can you do a splash for me? One, two, three. Splash! Perfect. I did it. I started to realize the more left I went, more right I felt. So you know what I did? Yep, I kept going left. And before I knew it, everything was going right. As I walked home, I glanced at the ground and I noticed something that I did not expect. My frustrations were, they were a lot smaller. My fears a lot quieter, my doubts a lot calmer, my worries practically gone. So I decided to pick them back up. And you know what? They felt lighter now, and they weren't so hard to handle anymore. And I realized it was okay to have them with me, so long as I kept an eye on them, and made sure that they didn't get too big or too loud, 
were too overwhelming. But if they did, and I felt like nothing was going right again, then I'd simply, and all of you guys could help me with this last one. Go left! That's right, go left. And Mark ends off with a nice little message here. When life's burdens start to feel too heavy, don't be afraid to put them down for a while. Mark, go left, do you have And that, yeah, go ahead. You can <laughs> So that, that story, right, when things aren't going right, go left. Um, I spoke earlier this morning to uh, kindergarten, first and second graders, and we read The Dot together. Do you know that book, The Dot? Yeah. So I love that book, but I, I thought this one's like a particularly good one, especially for older, older kids. Because um, you guys, you guys probably, you know really what this is about, right? This is, these are metaphors, right? They, the box full of worries, right? They're, they don't really exist like that, do they? But we all have worries and we have fears, even us grown-ups, right? Life is tough. And knowing how to cope with your feelings, right? And asking for help. And maybe sometimes it actually helps to have, like it's handy to have a twin brother, right? Because I was actually born with my best friend. And when things get kind of heavy, right? I go to him and I say, Paul, I need some help. And I just tell them, just by telling someone, it's kind of like putting down your words, right? You're kind of sharing them with someone else. So, um, so I really like that book. And by the way, so we've got who's who here is in fourth grade? Raise your hand. Who here is in third grade? Who here is in fifth grade? Who here is in sixth grade? Who would like to be in sixth grade? <laughs> a very popular year. Some of you are not so sure. I, I'm with you on that. So, you guys, um, you're coming in on landing on a spectacular year. I heard that you guys were amazing. Not only did you learn a lot, but you guys were really focusing on something that I think is even more important than knowing a lot of stuff, and that's being kind. Right? And you guys were thinking about how to be respectful, right? To be good listeners, to be kind, right? I do, yeah, what else have you been focusing on? Yeah. To be with a great shirt. Responsible. Right, being responsible. That's huge, right? How about with the black shirt? Being respectful, awesome. And how about the girl up there with the greenish? Yeah. Be creative. Wow, these are like some of our all time favorite words. Anybody on, on this side have some thoughts of what you were thinking about this year? I've been thinking it's just been an amazing year. An amazing year? Yeah. It's been an amazing year so far, and I'm excited for the future. Well, excited about the future. That is really awesome, right? The future? Tomorrow's the future? Tomorrow. The future. Tomorrow is the future. <laughs> Sounds like a song. Taylor Swift and I are going to be performing together. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. But you know what? I would like to... See, you can dream anything. We human beings are capable of dreaming anything. You might be in third grade, but you could dream about being on planet Mars. Because one of you may actually get there, right? I could dream about collaborating with Taylor Swift. Do you think it's possible? Yeah. yeah. During the pandemic, a, a, a musician called me, well, we Zoomed together, but the musician's name is Yusef Cat Stevens. Now, he is a legendary uh, musician. He wrote a lot of songs in the 70s and 80s, and still is doing, but he asked if I wanted to do a book with him based on a book, a song that he wrote called Peace Dream. And so we made a picture book. Um, and then he asked me to illustrate his album cover. So I just illustrated his new album. And we made some animated films together. So if you want to, um, anything you dream, right? As long as you tell someone, the chance of it happening increases exponentially, right? So if you, if you have a dream of where you want to go, end up in this life, does anyone have like a really good dream? Like they're like, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I would love it if it did. Is somebody way in the back with the pink shirt and the, yeah, the pink shirt with glasses. What's your dream? It's a bit under? Yeah. Yeah. 
What was that? Create music. Produce. Oh, create music. <laughs> I love that. It's a little hard to hear all the way in the front here. So that's awesome. Create music, right? We're wearing a Create Bravely shirts today. Oh, you're not. I'm surprised. Create Bravely. So that's awesome, right? Making music. How about orange shirt? Long hair. Orange shirt in the back. See, I'm thinking these people in the back, but I can't get you. So. What was that? Me. Olivia. 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 Oh, Olivia. Oh, that is awesome. We, Paul, can okay. you write that down? Um, so, by the way, if you have a dream, tell someone, write it down, write a poem, write a song, take a photograph, get a poster, find a book, talk to your librarian, say, guess what I want to be? I want to be, be an astronaut. Your librarian will find you your book. Did you know that you have your books out there? Your books. There are some books that will just speak to you, right? You just there are books and you're just like, gotta read it, gotta have it. Some some sometimes it's like, gotta read it. Don't really need that one. <laughs> and then sometimes you read the book, and you're like, I love this book. Like I, I read a book called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when I was Well to discover that this guy rolled off, wrote more books. Thank goodness. He wrote James and the Giant Peach and Matilda. Love all of those too. So we're coming in for a landing, right, Paul? Uh, sadly, we would love to hang out with you longer. Um, as um, as we mentioned before, we do have the bookstore, and um, how many people think they might be able to come visit? Yeah, it's a possibility, right? So, yeah, your mom might say no. Find someone else who loves you. <laughs> There's gotta be someone who will come through. So, I told you the secret password, right? Yeah. On the count of three, tell us the secret password. One, two, three. Well, they remember. They remember. They, they have amazing brains. Because they probably have amazing teachers. That probably is one of the reasons. Let's hear it for the teachers here. Welcome to the so, we would love to hang out with you. We have a kind of cool, secret, magical way for you to hang out longer with us. All you have to do is go to the library, your bookshelf, a bookstore, your bookshelf at home, find a book with our names on them, right? And open it up, start reading, and we will be there with you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. We love grateful people. Look at them. You see our artwork. Put your artwork to the camera. Turn your artwork to the camera. Turn to the camera. Okay. Oh, you're <laughs> <laughs>